It was a Sunday, a week after the, the clashes between the students and the troops, and I got a call from Jim at 10 o'clock Sunday morning saying, there's a problem. Uh, there's something going on here, I don't know what it is. There's a church on fire, there's people on the streets with swords, with machetes, you name it. Something is going to go down. Uh, as it happened, half an hour later, they'd caught three Ambonese men, they'd killed them on the spot, no, no, with swords and shit, cut them to pieces. And they found what they were chasing one, what, the fourth one through the, through the streets. Uh, Jim was you know, basically with them for you know, the, the entire chase through the streets. He's got black and white pictures of this guy running with a, this crazy mob behind him, blood streaming from his head. They were, they were playing with him. They were playing with this guy, you know, torturing like you play with, and little kids play with a puppy. And, and Jim basically got down on his hands and knees three times, pleading f to saying to them, there is no reason for you to kill this man. You know, you've, just because he is Ambonese, but they, they didn't listen. They didn't, they didn't uh, listen to him and they killed him anyway. But for no, 20 minutes he was on his hands and knees praying, saying, please don't kill this man, there is no need. If the situation does get that brutal and, and that nasty, a lot of people would, would move away, A, for their own safety, but I think in a way as an instinctive thing to say, I'm not part of it. Whereas Jim is always, in, he is always right in the middle of it. He is always part of it. He always has been and he always will be. And his pictures tell that. And I think that's, that's why he was on his hands and knees that day was because he was right in the middle. I know friends of mine who were there, they went next to this guy when he, when he was getting killed. They were standing on a bridge or in a building or, you know, just shooting from a distance. And when you're, when it's, when it becomes up close and personal, that's, that's, that's Jim.